everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rap45, and today I'm going over the super clocked GeForce GTX 1060 that I just got in the mail this afternoon. 6 gigs of DDR5 RAM. Uh, it's VR ready. As you can see here on my camera, uh, some of the shots in this video, the camera was a little off. Uh, I gotta work on fixing that, but that's a different story for now. The uh, actual video actually uh, had sound for this. But it was, I'm using my GoPro and it was inside the case, so the sound was kind of muffled. So, uh, here's my computer. This is what that sweet thing is going inside of. It's Asus ROG G20. AJ, it's about the size of an Xbox One, yeah, maybe a little bit bigger, but uh, it's pretty small. I can take it with me on the go. Uh, small form factor uh, desktop, and uh, it's pretty good. I bought it for about 500 bucks. And uh, it's got one terabyte hard drive. Uh, it has a, a SSD in there for the actual operating system. And here's the uh, backplate of the actual 750 that's in there right now. As you can see here, it's a single GPU uh, that's going to actually have to come out in a second. The other side is going to have to open up because this one here is uh, dual sided. So. Uh, Going over here, so once I do it, um, once I actually take this apart, I actually had to buy a separate power supply for this computer. As you'll see here at the top, the computer has two power supplies, and uh, they both uh, one is 180 watts and the other one is 230 watts. So you're gonna have to go in there and switch out the uh, plugs, and, uh, install the uh, power cables that came with the computer. Uh, this thing is so pretty, but anyway, a couple of my uh, video cords. So, as you see here, the 750 has a VGA. Once I put the 1060 in there, there is no VGA support on this thing. So now we're going to go over here and we're going to unbox this here. Just uh, give me a quick second here. So while I'm uh, unboxing, I'm just going to go over some of the specs here. So uh, this thing is supposed to be about 26% cooler, about 36% quieter. I actually uploaded it. I actually have a video. With me running the uh, sound check, uh, sitting, it, the computer is sitting right next to me at my desk, and I could barely hear it when I was playing my games. Uh, I could actually hear my refrigerator over the, the computer, so it's very quiet. Uh, it's about 250% uh, lower fan power, so I mean, this thing is pretty beast. Uh, it's four times increased the lifespan of the, of the actual uh, system, too. So this thing comes out of the box. Factory overclocked, right? It's the, uh, you know, I'm going over here, some of the features. If you're looking to get into VR gaming for about $260, here you go. You got multi projection, you got game works, uh, you got NVIDIA VR works, uh, NVIDIA G Sync, and you also have game sync. The uh, system also has the NVIDIA GPU Boost 3.0, which is pretty good. Uh, Microsoft DirectX 12, Vulkan API. You also have OpenGL 4.5 support, and you have multiple uh, connectors for, for your multiple projection TV. So here I'm opening it up, and uh, this is going to be my first time uh, opening up this computer. It's a storeboard. Uh, Store bought computer pre built. Um, actually, I was a little disappointed with, with Asus. They give you a uh, a gaming computer and then they give you your warranty saying that if you uh, you know break it open to upgrade it, it was your warranty. So um, I didn't actually buy this computer in the store. I actually got it off of eBay. Uh, it was refurbished for about 500 bucks. And um, 
now. I don't have to worry about warranties or anything, and I can uh, upgrade to my leisure. So here, once you uh, get the box here and you open it up, uh, they give you a good, uh, pretty decent size uh, EVGA poster here. It's got like a little, little knight on there. And uh, it's got his flaming sword or lightsaber. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Uh, so let's just set that aside. You know, I'll probably hang it up next to my awards or something. I don't know. This is my little office area. But we'll just sit it down for here right now. And uh, we're going to go into actually uh, looking at some of the other stuff here. So here's uh, this looks like a, I guess a user manual. Maybe. I don't know. Let's throw it out of the way. You also got an enthusiast built EVGA Max sticker on both sides. You got a, one side is black, the other side is kind of silverish. Probably won't, I probably won't put these on my computer. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, rip this thing out of the bag here. Let's take it out nice and soft. So you got to take it out the bubble wrap and then you got more wrappers. So just peel that off. Out. And this thing is really pretty. I mean, uh, you know, single fan. Uh, it's not the reference design. So, if you have an ASUS uh, ROG G20 or the is the CB or the MB, which are the three different models that are out right now for the G, uh, G20, uh, you either want this fan right here, but you Definitely want to get a reference card. A reference card would actually uh, allow the system to breathe a little bit better because the way this is placed in here right now is kind of impractical. But for right now, this is doing the job. Uh, just take a look at the sides here. <clears throat> and uh, there you have it. So when I come back, we're going to bust this computer open and install it. inside of my case uh, <clears throat> you see here is my my current GPU the 750 I got my hard drive right here uh, this is where my SSD would no normally be at if I had it in here uh, this cable right here is for my RGB lights and here are my uh, my, my here are my uh, fans right here my cooling system now the RAM system RAM in here and the GP uh, the CPU the processor are both underneath this right here so I'd have to remove these bolts here and then lift this part out to receive uh, to, to actually expose those parts of the, of the system but today I'm focusing on the GPU first, first bolts I removed were here here right there I also removed this bolt here and this would uh, pretty much allow me to, as you see here, I'm lifting it up. That would allow me to uh, remove my actual GPU and then I can actually uh, put the new one in. All right, so I will be back with more. All right, so this is what was in here before GTX 750. So I just pulled it out. So uh, here you have this little elbow connector or a piece or whatever you want to keep that part so you can just pull that part right off here let's take a look at this in here all right cable so right off over in here you're going to have to take this and switch it over to that one over there and when you do this this enables uh the uh the other the, the power supply the bigger power supply so that you could actually uh, use this gtx 1060 efficiently so that being said i will be right back after i'm finished taking uh taking apart the rest of this all right so i just installed the uh the power connectors here so i used the actual one that came with the computer the computer came with uh these two right here uh this is an, a, a six plus two connector so you have a total of eight pins but you know you just pull that off to the side and then you just put that into the back of the GPU and then here you go for the other one right here 
they both go in like so just like that and uh, it actually you know it took me about five minutes to, to get them both in and seated and uh, now we're gonna start putting everything back together right just put the uh, GPU in connect the pieces and uh, see if we can get right. it fit <clears throat> here I am I'm back uh, it took me a minute to get this thing seated back in here now but it's actually seated in I actually have the uh, elbow I don't know if you can see that how well you can see that in but I actually have the elbow seated in there pretty good uh, took me a minute to get it in but hey so one thing I want to do bring up is uh, if you are installing this GPU inside of uh, this computer which is the Asus ROG G20 AJ CB or uh, MB uh, is you want to make sure you don't pinch these cables I almost pinched these cables when I was installing it so you don't want to pinch these cables here and I'm going to try and see if I can show you here but there's actually writing on it so you see here it says uh, trying to focus in on it. it says number one I don't know it's not coming up too clear on this camera for some odd reason but uh, so when you install it you put it back on the case when you put the case back on you want to line it back up with these here make sure you you wire these accordingly number one and number two all right so you want to do that that way you get your uh, you don't cross any cables getting in there all right so here it is as you can see it is seated in and everything is looking good to go so now we're gonna put this thing back together we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna run a couple of games just to see uh, the performance on this thing here just make sure I see it in there probably okay so see you in a few so that's it for the uh, noise test the noise levels in this thing are not that loud at all I mean it's sitting right next to me like I said earlier um, I can barely hear it when it's running uh, right now you've seen it it's, it's sitting in my desk which is at my right foot or right leg I should say um, so it's pretty dark in there but uh, pretty open space lots of room for the computer to breathe in and uh, even with the air being trapped or uh, well not being trapped but uh, even with it being in my desk table uh, you still don't hear anything it stays quiet and stays cool in there too um, so that's it for now uh, I'll post up some uh, benchmarks a little bit later uh, of the actual games that I, I have in here I'm going to be playing uh, just a couple of games uh, just showing some benchmarks here and um, that's it so I do want to say that uh, I actually got this uh, installation I was watching uh, a couple of YouTube videos um, what Welsh gaming and Drew Drucon Druyan I think that's how you say his name I can't pronounce his name youtubers uh, I'll link their channels in the description below so you guys can check them out they're really good uh, they have really good tutorials on how to break this thing down and uh, Drew yeah. uh, so they have really good tutorials on the uh, the actual insides uh, the guts of this computer and how to install uh, GPUs CPUs RAM hard drive space whatever uh, so uh, actually learned a little bit from them on this system here it's a great system and uh, I really enjoy it uh, until then I will see you next time